The world as we know it is heading into darkness. A haze of hopelessness is settling over the cities. No matter who you are, old or young, rich or poor, the evil of air pollution leaves no place or person unthreatened. For ages we have marveled at the heights of innovation and discovery scaled by us. However, despite living in advanced surroundings, we have gone miles back from a healthy environment. With 11 out of the 12 most polluted cities in the world, 2.8 billion tons of CO2, lung diseases afflicting as many as 55 million people, causing 2.5 million deaths annually, India is engulfed in a cloud of suffocating air. With dangerously high air quality indices year after year, Delhi's record high surged to 1239 on the index. Who really is to blame for turning the skyline of India into a gas chamber? Farmers across the states of Punjab, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh and Rajasthan burn about 23 million tons of paddy stubble every year, leading to over 35 million tons of carbon emissions. The cement and concrete industry contributes to as high as 30% of the air pollution, creating hazardous byproducts in manufacturing and clouds of haze in the process of construction. The problem does not end here. India alone generates 5.6 million tons of plastic waste annually, a lot of which originates from home furnishings, decor and utility items. When dumped in landfills, having understood the magnitude of these harsh realities, we at an act of Haribut brought about a collaboration of brilliant minds to discover answers to these problems. Determined to drive the world towards a formidable change and converge our ideas into a vision, we launched Project Iptida, embodying the principles of scientific innovation and invention and offering a one-stop solution to the issues of stubble burning, carbon emissions and plastic pollution. Tapping into the unidentified sources of air pollution and upcycling industrial and agricultural waste, we aim to offer our customers a range of sustainably crafted products. In collaboration with Green Jams, we discovered the potential of agrocrete, a carbon negative material. After exploring viable options, doing extensive market research, designing products and their molds, we curated Sonscrete, a wide range of home decor products, seeing a twofold impact by providing eco-friendly alternatives to plastic and concrete utility products like planters, bookends, coasters and wall clocks. The texture and characteristics of agrocrete are profoundly kindred to those of concrete. It is not only a strong, durable, cost-efficient, lighter in weight and more water-resistant, it is also carbon negative. Advancing on our journey to create innovative solutions, we have ventured into creating disposable cutlery using stubble waste. Plastic disposable revolt in 22,000 tons of waste every month, terrorizing the planet for thousand years before breaking down. This vertical aims at a multifold impact by not only reducing stubble burning, but also replacing single-use plastic cutlery. Having tested our prototypes to have higher durability than plastic cutlery, our eco-friendly cutlery will offer a more premium and natural experience to our customers at similar price points. To expand our horizons, we plan to set out on a journey to explore other carbon-negative materials. While conducting extensive research and market analysis, we found that hemp can prove to be a huge asset to the environment. The industrial hemp market is projected to surge at a CAGR of 34% from $4.6 billion in 2019 to $26.6 billion by 2025. With its plan producing more oxygen, requiring less water for cultivation and fibers being stronger than that of cotton, it becomes a more sustainable and rewarding alternative. Offering farmers a way to effectively manage their stubble waste by procuring it from them and making sustainable products out of it, we will be able to provide them with a stable livelihood. Our venture also provides employment to destitute community members by collaborating with NGOs such as Prabhav, providing them with a ray of hope if the acts have the catalyst to propel them towards a sustainable lifestyle. Building a carbon negative future through the hands of our beneficiaries one step at a time, we enable them to break through the shackles of hopelessness and lead a respectful life. In an effort to implement a zero waste model, our supply chain is designed to collect both the industrial and agricultural waste needed for production at source. By redesigning the resource life cycle to ensure reuse, we will be able to effectively utilize the crop residue and potentially hazardous waste and make sustainable products out of it, hence enabling a circular economy. In our early endeavors towards creating an eco-habitable world, we were recognized by KPMG. It's annual business ethics grant for promoting ethical business practices in our venture. Through our holistic approach, it the plans to reduce 15 metric tons of carbon emissions, about 300 kgs of greenhouse gases, utilize 1.5 tons of industrial byproduct, process 10 metric tons of stubble, and substitute 12 tons of plastic products within the first year of its operations. Aimed at tackling climate change while offering innovative solutions, Project Iptita plans to uplift the community by providing skill training to 100 plus people, creating 200 employment opportunities, increasing income generation by 250 percent, while expecting revenue of nearly 12 lakh rupees. Iptida's glory will rise from the ashes to lead the world to a new way of living heading towards sustainable growth through scalable solutions.